plan was just to give it a little bit more stability so it doesn't chip or split anymore. And we're hoping that those cracks grow up. That's the reason we trim his tusks so short. Is he unusually large? Yes. Male elephants are a lot bigger than females, and this is a good example, but he is an extremely tall elephant. He's got long legs. He's the largest male Asian elephant in North America. He is. Mm -hmm. And have to. Well, North, that's in North right. America. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I forgot the North. America. And and you see, in this, he outweighs the larger female by 2,500. He outweighs the smaller female by 5,000. So oh, even wow. our two girls are 2,500 pounds different. Hmm. So now, he's the largest one in the North America, uh -huh. but not but, the world. Well, you don't know about in the wild. Yeah, in the wild. Yeah, who, who knows? But he is. But um, yeah, and there aren't. Most of the elephants that are in captivity are females. But he is. Um, he's got very, very long legs. He's very tall. And sometimes it's kind of hard to get the perspective of how big they are when they're standing beside each other until you see, you know, one of the zookeepers you know, out there. I don't have a big around. How tall is he? Thirty. Uh, he, he is, uh, the crest of his back, the center of his back is where they measure him, uh -huh. you know, that kind of hump. And he's 10 foot tall at the center of his back. Wow. Which is the height of a regulation basketball hoop. Yeah. Gee. So you think a superhuman, it's like Michael Jordan, who can really jump, are about the only people who can get their hand up that high. Huh. And that's how, that's how tall the center of his back is. And look, he's pulling this, there's a little bit of this bamboo outside and he just pulled it in. So he, oh. yeah, he pulled it in through the, through the fence. Now I didn't notice before they've got little humps on the top. Uh, of yes, the head. they do, and it's a, uh, it's a little bit more pronounced in Phoebe, I mean in Connie. But yeah, they have the top of their head has got kind of like little domes. I never noticed that before. Mm -hmm. It's uh, that's one difference between Asian hey, elephants and African elephants. The shape of their head. That's sawdust. That's sawdust on your back. Now, did yeah. the zoo, I'm sorry, go ahead, Chris. What? Why do they have sawdust up there? It, it's a, um, it protects their skin from sunburn or from insect bites. So it's kind of like when your mom puts sunscreen on you in the summer. But they <coughs> throw it up there because it's fun and it feels good. It tickles. It's like having powder on after a bath. Is that the shower where they take where mm -hmm. they get, where There is a shower over there in the corner, uh-huh. You're right. They on? No, they can turn it on themselves. They can? Yes, there's a button back there. And elephants are very, very smart. They know how to do things like that. They do? Mm-hmm. Hey, you your camera so you can take the picture of them? Is he the tallest one in captivity? Um, he's the largest one in North America. Okay. And you see, this one right here is considered petite or small. Um, and she's 6,800. <laughs> wow. So, um, you know, it's all perspective. I guess the world's heaviest human are nowhere near an elephant. <laughs> Gee. Well, you know, when our baby was born, he weighed 285 pounds the day before. Oh. Now, he, that was a big baby. That was bigger than most, but still. A couple little pieces right out here. Can you give them more bamboo? I'll give him some more. Oh, he's reaching through the bars that every little 